The video for February the 15th, 2017 is entitled, Fact or Fiction, Positive Changes Soon. I've been making daily videos since January 2011. I truly expected real change that year or the next. What I thought would happen didn't. In fact, some things seemed to get worse. Is this because I was misguided? taking the hopium to keep the faith alive? Will we really experience peace on earth, or is that just another unfulfilled promise? I wish I knew the answer. Some have suggested there is a currency revaluation happening, eliminating fiat currencies and going to an asset-backed currency system. I've been hearing that for a long time as well. Still, nothing changes. My whole life has been based on the expectation that the hoped for kingdom of heaven would happen in my lifetime. I'm still waiting, and at the same time, trying to move ahead in whatever life I have left. I went out last night to hear my son's uh, band, well, not, not his band play, I, to hear him play at the, at the uh, open mic. And uh, when I, it's, I no sooner walked in, they had just started playing when I walked in the door. So the timing was really good because he doesn't play all the time. Other musicians uh, share the stage and get to play a couple of songs each, I guess. Anyway, when I came home, I, uh, when I went to bed shortly after I got home, my heart was beating so fast and I just couldn't seem to slow it down. I was still awake a couple of hours later, actually past midnight. And I uh, sent my birthday greetings out after midnight because the day had changed. Uh, and I finally, I finally took, a, a, what do you call it, a melatonin, <laughs> uh, which helps you sleep. And it, it probably took me an hour even after taking that before I fell asleep. But I finally did, and I got maybe three or four hours of sleep before I woke up again. Uh, I, that's the way it, that's pretty normal for me, unfortunately. I wish I could sleep more soundly and for longer periods, but I guess that's just not in the works. But I have been anticipating, as I said in the blurb, positive changes for a long time. And by positive changes, I mean elimination of the liars that have ruled the world. And that is the... To me, that is the problem. The world is run by people who have no affinity to truth, who have no problem with, with lying with a straight face, and not only lying, but stealing from everybody else. They, they see themselves as, as the top of the heap, and uh, they don't have to keep rules that they expect other people to keep. Other people may go to jail and stuff like that, or even <laughs> worse, be executed. Uh, for doing things that they do all the time. When I say they, of course, I'm talking about this elite establishment that to me is a demonic element, whether there's real demons or not. I, I, I believe that there's a whole lot in the unseen world that we can sometimes sense, but we can't really perceive it with all of our senses. And some people may have moments or I guess there's some people that can see the other side or the invisible realm all the time. I, I don't know if that's true. I don't see it. I, I think I've seen it a few times. I think I've heard things a few times. I've certainly sensed things a lot of times uh, in one way or another with, a, with some kind of a sensation uh, of, of feeling like something is real uh, that I cannot it's not a part of my physical world. In any case, I have longed, and so have many other people, uh, for there to be justice in the world. And justice, you know, can, can mean recompense being uh, dished out for people's wrongdoings. And I don't think it has to, should, I really don't think it should even carry from lifetime to lifetime. I think it should be done as much as possible in a single lifetime. What you, what you don't get done in a lifetime, you should get a clean slate to, to uh, start over again. That apparently isn't the way that it works.
Catholics. And I, yes, I do believe in reincarnation, and I know a lot of Christians and, and other people have been taught that reincarnation is, is a lie. Uh, yet there are indications in the Bible that would uh, suggest that it's not a lie at all, and that people in, the, in that day and age actually believe, you know, uh, that souls came back again, and they, they, there were questions that indicated that that's, that was part of their thinking and their, you know, 2,000 and more even years ago uh, when the Bible was being written. Uh, and of course, Hindus uh, and Buddhists, I guess, have believed in reincarnation as part of their uh, normal uh, doctrinal idea of how things work. Now, I, again, wish things would work in a very positive manner that would manifest goodness, would manifest truth, would manifest reconciliation, our own reconciliation with each other and with higher powers, and if possible, even a healing for those darker powers that have thrived on deception and thrived on violence. Uh, I, I don't understand that mentality. I've never understood it. Uh, all of this lifetime, anyway, I've not understood it. Uh, anyway, folks, I would like to be able to move on to a more positive message as we see things actually unfolding. Will that happen anytime soon? I don't know. As I said, I've moved into, well, I've not moved in yet. I have my so a lot of my things moved into a new residence, uh, and it's it's a wonderful place. Uh, I think uh, I don't know how it's going to be living there day by day. I haven't spent any time any much of any time there so far, uh, but I will be spending more time once I. It'll take me maybe another week or two to get completely moved moved in there and move out of where. Uh, in a storeroom where I have, have still have a lot of stuff stored that needs to be moved there. We loaded up the U-Haul and couldn't bring everything there. And a lot of the stuff that's there is going to end up being taken back out uh, because I can't keep all those library books there. There's just not enough room. <laughs> uh, so uh, I am in the process of trying to reestablish my life to the best of my ability. And what that rapid heart rate was last night when I was trying to sleep, I have no idea. It, it finally settled down, but it seemed to be going so fast and so hard. And I wondered, what is this? And I didn't feel pain, but I was just very conscious of my heart uh, beating very strongly in my chest. <laughs> anyway, folks, uh, let's pray for one another and do the best we can to uphold and uplift one another and try, try as hard as we can to forgive those that have wronged us. Uh, and I truly hope that, that the RV does happen, that there is a currency revaluation that ultimately brings uh, greater prosperity to those especially who want to fix some of the obvious problems in our human culture and right some of the wrongs that have been uh, hoisted upon us, foisted upon us, whichever word you want to use, uh, have, put up, have been put in our pathway that we have to face and in many cases endure. Uh, I hope for real changes and I hope for them to be soon. I'd like to experience them in my lifetime. I wonder sometimes if that's really going to happen. Anyway, I do thank you for, for continuing to listen to my videos, those of you that do. And for those of you that listen from time to time, thanks for stopping by. Uh, I hope that the day will come when, when we can share at a greater level than we're even able to now, not just online, but face to face and, and be able to hug one another and, and just feel the joy. That's what I'd really like. That's the positive change I'd really like is joy. Thank you for listening and namaste.